Hello everyone! Welcome na naman sa I Love Math. So today we will discuss the grade, uh, quarter 2 na tayo, grade 8 mathematics. We will discuss if-then statements condition or conditional statements. But before we start, please uh, hit the subscribe button para ma-notify tayo sa mga susunod pang video na gagawin natin. So, umpisa na tayo. If then statement or what we call the conditional statement. Conditional statements are formed by joining two statements, which is the P and Q using the words if and then. The P statement is called the hypothesis. Ito yung P natin, hypothesis. And the Q statement, that what we call the conclusion a hypothesis is it states the given facts are assumed to be true. Whereas, a conclusion, what needs to be proven or established. Implication is a statement formed by hypothesis and conclusion. If P, then Q. Or P implies Q. Okay. We will transform the conditional statement in the if-then form and determine the hypothesis and the conclusion. Number one, a six-sided polygon is a hexagon. So our P or the hypothesis is, um, so hindi ba natin i-identify yung hypothesis natin? Kung nakikita ninyo yung statement natin, meron siyang linking verb. So, ibig sabihin, dito tayo ma-hati itong first statement. Ito yung P natin or the hypothesis natin. Then, the other statement, which is the A hexagon, is our conclusion. So, ang if-then form natin, gagawin natin itong if-then form by adding the if and the then dito sa statement natin. So, if-then form natin na so six-sided polygon is a hexagon. If-then form, if it is a six-sided polygon, then it is a hexagon. I-co-construct ninyo ng tama yung, yung statement natin. Lalagyan, uh, mag-a-add tayo ng if, then, the then. Pero, uh, i-co-construct natin yung, yung tama na magpakinggan. Huwag lang yung, uh, yung statement natin, dadagdagan lang natin ng if and then. I-co-construct natin na tamang pakinggan sa tama. Okay, so our, we will identify the hypothesis natin. So our, our hypothesis is the a six-sided polygon. Then our conclusion is a hexagon. Okay, number two. The even number is divisible by two. So meron pa rin tayong linking verb. So madali lang siya i-identify. Na itong unang statement, ito yung hypothesis natin. Pangalawang statement, ito yung conclusion. So, if then form natin, if it is an even number, then it is divisible by 2. Hypothesis, the even number. Conclusion is divisible by 2. Next, cigarette smoking is dangerous to your health. So, meron, pa, meron na naman tayong linking verb, verb now which is the S. So, cigarette smoking, ito yung hypothesis. Dangerous to your health, ito yung conclusion. So, if then form natin, if you smoke cigarette, then it is dangerous to your health. Hypothesis, cigarette smoking, then conclusion, dangerous to your health. Number four, you are inspired when you are in love. 
Meron tayong when, which is the preposition. Pareho lang din sa uh, linking verb. Ito nag-separate sa dalawang statement natin, the P and the Q. So, you are inspired. Ito yung P natin or hypothesis. Then, uh, you are in love. Ang ating conclusion. So, if then for, if you are inspired, then you are in love. Hypothesis, you are inspired. Conclusion, you are in love. Number four. Number five. I will play outside when the weather is nice. Tandaan ninyo yung meron pa rin, meron din mga statement na walang preposition, walang, walang linking verb ha. So, nagkataon lang na itong mga ano natin, mga example, meron preposition, meron din linking verb. Ito, preposition nito when natin. So, I will play outside when the weather is nice. I will play outside. Ito yung hypothesis natin. The weather is nice. Ito yung conclusion. So, if then form natin. If I will play outside, then the weather is nice. Ang hypothesis. I will play outside. Then, the weather is nice is our conclusion. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe uh, para ma-notify kayo sa susunod nating video. Thank you!